Hi, you're sewing with Cody, and in today's video, I am going over the new Bernina cup clip. So this, we just recently got in. This cup clip is designed to only fit on the Bernina 96 ruler foot. Um, as most of you know, this 96 ruler foot um, only fits on the Bernina Q20, Q24. Well, it fits on all the Berninas uh, because all the Berninas can use all the same, all the feet. Um, but the 96 ruler foot can only safely work on a Q series. So that's a Q20 and Q24. Um, but with your, your Bernina Q series can also use the adjustable ruler foot number 72, which we use on all of our other, other machines. So we now have this Bernina cup clip that only fits on the 96 ruler. So unfortunately this cup clip will only work on the Q series because you have to use the 96 foot. So the way this attaches onto here, you just push it on and it will actually snap into place. It's fairly simple. And we'll hear a little snap um, and then you're good to go. So the purpose of this cup clip is so when we're stitching on the, uh, if we have to stitch beyond the edge of the quilt or if we have some thick appliques or uh, any flanges on our quilt, which I absolutely hate quilting um, because what happens? Um, and, but this will prevent uh, what I'm about to show you from happening. Um, so if you're quilting with any of the other feet, as you know, if you ever stitch beyond the quilt, so if we're basting or sometimes we like to pull our patterns beyond the edge, so it completely um, fills in uh, the, the edge of your quilt with quilting. So if you ever stitch beyond the quilt, you know when you come back, it's almost inevitable unless you baste really tight and really close to the edge of the quilt. It's once it comes over and it comes back, it's gonna catch the edge of the quilt, which is just a pain in the neck. Or if you have um, some applique, especially some hand applique, or any flange or anything, as it comes over, it's gonna catch. When it comes back the other way, it's fine, but it has to come this way to come that way. And it's just always catch, it's just a pain in the neck. Um, so anytime uh, a customer brings in a quilt that has a flange, not only do I cringe, but I require, I, it's mandatory that they take it back and they actually edge stitch it down because not all of my um, long arms have a cup like this. And like for Bernina, we just finally got this cup. So it's, flanges are a nightmare when it comes to a long arm quilter. I absolutely hate them because of the, the fact that it, if I have to stitch over it, which I do, um, it's going to get caught. So with this cup clip, now you have a bowl that's basically attached to your ruler foot. So when I come over and then come back, it just rolls right over everything. It, If your flange is flat, it will just stitch right over without a problem. So that's the purpose of this bowl or this cup clip attached to our 96 um, ruler foot. So another thing, when you are using, and remember, when you're using this cup clip on your ruler foot, you can no longer use rulers because you no longer have that nice quarter of an inch. And so it's just not gonna work. So rulers can't be used uh, when using the cup clip on the ruler foot, but when you are quilting, it's awesome because it's just going to glide right over those seams. Especially when you come over to that flange, it's going to ride right over it. Um, so that's the benefit and the beauty of the cup clip for the number 96 ruler foot for the Q20 and Q24. Um, to take it off is super easy. What you'll do is, one, you can actually just leave it on the machine and you can pop it off that way. So you just pull it right off. I find it's easier to take the foot off to put it on hear the snap, but it's easier to take it off when it's on the machine. You just basically just pull down on it and it comes right off. Super simple. Hopefully this helps um, with an explanation of the cup, new cup clip and how to use it. All right, happy sewing.